Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a quick video. I am doing like a little quick update for you guys and also I'm doing a little haul of everything I've bought these last few, this last month? Yeah, this month, last month or so and I figured I'd share with you guys to get a video up. Sitting in the corner, currently in a little area of my room that I'm sleeping in right now. I'm waiting to move into my apartment um which will be hopefully by the end of this month um we're just trying to get some stuff together getting things together for that it's a really long process so hopefully by the end of this month i will have my own area which means i will have like a beauty room and i will have a filming area and i will be dishing out tons of videos for you guys but that doesn't mean that i'm not going to be filming for the rest of this month i am pretty much situated right now till the end of this month so i am going to be dishing out videos for you guys this is going to be starting off right now with my drugstore haul pretty much i don't think i have any high end high end stuff in here but <clears throat> yeah some drugstore stuff and that's kind of the only update that's why it took me so long to film for you guys because i was just so busy doing that a lot of stuff was happening when that happened at the same time it's just been a long long moving process and i'm just so ready to have my own space to have my own apartment like a walk around naked if i wanted to probably not fully naked but y'all know what i mean but i'm just so excited to you know start that journey and if you guys would be interested in like who's texting me if you guys would be interested in like you know home decor stuff because i'll be doing a lot of do-it-yourself stuff because your girl is not that balling so you know a lot of do-it-yourself stuff buying things from the um thrift store and then converting it into my own i am going to do a whole full i'm gonna have three rooms just let y'all know i'm gonna have three rooms one's gonna be my bedroom the second one's gonna be my beauty room and the third room's gonna be my guest room slash office and that would probably be the guest room size office is where I think I would film. I'm going to do like a gallery wall in there. And then my beauty room would be a room that I would film occasionally. But I kind of want it to be just very fancy and nice. I really want to even get a chandelier for it. Um, I'm really excited. So if you guys would be interested in home decor stuff because I've been shopping my butt off. Everywhere I go, even when I go visit my friends, I'm like... Like, the other day I was at my friend's house and I was like, I really like your sink. And I never thought I would even be looking at someone's sink to be like, you know, to change it into my own in my house. And, you know, I'm just really, really excited for that. And, yeah, that's why I was away. I was moving and I'm finally situated. And right now I'm in a little ass room in my mom's house. And... This is not the business. Like, I am so crammed in here. It's really ridiculous. Um, I just... I have a lot of stuff. I have a shopping problem. I have a clothes problem. I have a makeup problem. I have a life problem. Pretty much. Yeah, so let me know down below if you guys are interested in all those home decor. When I redo things, blah, blah, blah. Because I am redoing my fridge. I'm actually painting a fridge. And I never thought you could do that. But I am painting a fridge. Um, and I'm just doing a lot of stuff. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Let's just get on to this haul before I start blabbering on for like a hundred years because Lord knows I can. And I think I'm going to start vlogging because a lot of stuff comes to my mind and I'm just like so interested in ranting on it. So I might start vlogging. Even if it's just like a little clip and I'm just talking for like a good three minutes. I think I would share that just because I feel like I'm sharing myself, I'm sharing my thoughts, I'm sharing something for you guys. I am going to be doing more beauty related stuff, but like I've said a hundred times, I don't want to focus mainly on beauty, which is why my channel is called Loving Life with Judy, because I want to be able to love life with everything and do everything I want to do on my channel. So, yeah, let's go on with this haul. I am going to be doing just a beauty haul right now with some random stuff, but then future in the future, probably nearly next week or something like that, I am going to start doing more, um, actually tomorrow, 
I have time tomorrow. So tomorrow probably I will film a home decor haul because I've had a ton of freaking home decor stuff that I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I just see it. I like it. I buy it. Figure it out later. That's my whole dilemma. To start off with at the dollar store, I was super duper surprised guys. You guys need to start going, y'all need to really go to the dollar store sometimes because I don't know what it is, but you can really find name brand stuff. Like I found like always pads in there before. And last time I was there, I found Revlon foundation. This is the Nearly Naked foundation. And I bought these two, the 190 True Beige and the 220 Natural Tan. I liked these lashes and they didn't look, you know how when cheap lashes look really cheap and they look like really crunchy type thing? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, these are from the dollar store and they did not look crunchy. Let me open this. They do not look crunchy. And I was actually pretty excited about them. They're like really soft and look at how nice they look. Then I don't know why, but I've been really liking the little hole, you know, when people put a little diamond right here, right here here in the middle of your forehead well I wanted to try it so I bought this I don't this is not really the same thing but I feel like I can work with this I'm gonna try it and if it looks crazy I won't post a picture on Instagram but if it looks nice you'll see it on my Instagram and if you aren't following me on Instagram it's I'm gonna link it down below it's loving life with Judy go follow me on Instagram I thing that I bought I actually have been um, debating on buying like those smile science um whitening stuff for your teeth but when i was at the dollar store i wanted to try this five minute whitening um i've never heard of anything about it i've never i'm just gonna try it on my own and see if i like it and let's see if it whitens my teeth now from target i bought these because one of my friends um, Alta Gracia, I'm going to link her channel down below. Um, her channel is Inspired by Style and she has an awesome blog too, so you guys need to check her out. But she had a whole bunch of these and she used them to contour. No, she used them to set her baking powder when I was at her house and I really liked it. So I got a whole thing of wedges. I used to, when I um, started makeup on my own forever ago without even me knowing about YouTube I used to use this to put my foundation on not that I would use it to put foundation on now I don't feel like it would work well with me but for putting the um, powder underneath your eyes and to put what's it called the powder to contour you know all that good stuff I think this would I know this would be good because I've seen her using it I've been really really into lashes lately and I even have some wispies on with my glasses and I'm so excited I like the way it looks so yeah, and I'm sorry for about the glasses. I just couldn't put my contacts on. They have been bothering me a lot lately. Lately, so I figured I'd just do my glasses in this video. And I got these lashes from Ilore. I got number 107. I think these might be my favorites. Number 118. They just look really, really nice. I like the way they flare out in the end. And then I got the Shining Star by Vegas. Nay, I don't think I have the purple box. Don't remember. Gotta look at my thing. But I seen these and I was like, I really like them. I don't think I have them. So I got them. Picked up some Wet n Wild glitter eyeshadows. I got the silver and I got the gold. These were on clearance for like a dollar. I picked up two lipsticks. I've been looking for the perfect, really good um kylie jenner nude right this one's definitely not it obviously this one's just a really pink pink light 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 nude i don't know why i wanted it i think it would be so pretty look at it oh you know why i got this one because i was looking at kim kardashian's makeup and a lot of the time she's wearing a very light nude peachy light nude and it's a very natural um i also have one around there somewhere it's a really natural like lip color and i really really like it which is kind of what i have on my lips right now yeah maybelline touch of spice and matte yep and that's it a good color for the kylie jenner look then i also i just got a few things and some of them are not in here. 
picked up more lashes because you can never have enough lashes and I really like these so I picked these up these are the 126 by Iloa and I feel like they were so pretty then I also picked up a couple other things um these were buy one get one 50% off and then this, I got the skin clearing too and some new tweezers because I can't find none of them I had so many tweezers I had so many different things and I can't even find the my lash tweezer there's a lash tweezer that I bought like not too long ago for like $15 at Ulta and I can't find it I can't find it and I'm so annoyed so I picked up these and I might have to go back for that because I need it so this is like to pick your pimples instead of you you know using your nails cutting your skin this kind of helps and prevents all those you know mixing crannies of them and then just some tweezers these kind of hurt I've used these a couple times already and they're really hurt like when you're trying to pluck your hair they're so sharp like I said my face has been acting up and I can't I'm not gonna get up and go to the bathroom to get the face wash but I picked up some more Neutrogena face products because I feel like I can I work very well with them um, I got the rapid clear um, acne defense face lotion so this is a lotion that I've been putting on underneath my makeup so that I have that barrier and it's you know soothing my skin instead of me putting makeup and you know clogging my pores a lot more than you know I don't have no defense stuff on my face that's just my mechanism this is how I think and then also I picked up rose the rosebud um lip because since my face has been drying out I feel like my lips have been combating and drying out too so I picked this up because I thought I was missing all my lip stuff and then I'm like talking to mom I'm like mom I can't find none of my rosebud stuff and what does she pull out her purse both of my rosebud lip glosses which irks me all the time because I was just like thinking I lost them all but I didn't before my camera dies and it overheats again so last thing I picked up at Target was this um La Roche Pose that's how you say it if a clear duo dual action acne treatment reduces the number of severity of acne blemishes treats clogged pores to clear blackheads and whiteheads right here on the tip of my face i always get whiteheads and blackheads and it's so annoying especially when you put makeup on and highlight y'all know what i'm talking about when you see that you know the emphasizing of the pimple or the blackhead and, and it's not even a pimple your face can be completely clear but then you'll have that blackhead or whitehead underneath and you put your makeup on and you can see it well i tried this out and honestly guys it worked really well i i want to try it out again once my face clears up from the reason my face has been breaking out is because of the humidity outside my area of where I've been living has been so humid it's insane and my skin cannot take it my skin literally instantly breaks out the day that it's humid outside and I'm not kidding during the morning I feel the humidity as I get out by the end of work literally my face is broken out when I get home it's annoying it's so annoying so <sighs> done with that rant once i get better once my face gets better it's becoming fall so hopefully the humidity is gone it just dries i just want dry i just dry, want dry weather just once my face clears up which is probably by tomorrow i should have everything good then i have to tone my face to make sure the darkness of my blemishes go away the love or the struggle of an acne prone skin when it's humid outside and that's it guys that's all i picked up at the store this last month and i have nothing else to say i hope to have a, at least a couple videos up for you guys this week thank you guys so much for watching my channel and i'll see you guys next time